Carlos says he got caught. Uh oh. It was with interest that I heard the last episode where a guy was asking about using Migration Assistant with his new M2 MacBook Air from a 2015 MacBook Pro. I have both. Here's what happened. I migrated the data, but something bad happened. In spite of my 25-year Mac IT career, okay, um, uh, I never used Migration Assistant at work. Um, I was a Casper Suite guy, which I assume is some sort of system configuration suite. Okay. Um, yeah, but usually work fine at home. The error upon rebooting after Migration Assistant got stuck in a restart loop. None of the usual keys, Option, Command R, zapping the PRAM, um, single user mode worked. I finally looked up resetting the SMC on the Apple chip Mac, uh, Command, Option, Shift, Power, and then I finally got the Recovery Assistant to launch. I had to erase the drive and reinstall OS Monterey then the OS setup came up. By that point, I realized what I had done wrong before, pertinent to your listener's question. I had left checked the system files box. Oh. And that's what started the restart loop. Don't. Interesting. <laughs> um, huh. This time I left it unchecked and it booted up fine with all my apps and data migrated. Uh, a 48 tale, a 48 hour tale of woe, but a happy ending. So, uncheck that box. <laughs> No, that's interesting that like we we talk about we often get questions. In fact, I think the last week's question was kind of that. Like, how do I I, I want to get rid of the cruft and, and the definition of cruft is different for each of us, but also just in different circumstances. But I want to get rid of the cruft without making creating a headache for myself. And so moving apps and data over without bringing system files m might be for some considered skipping the cruft for some of us it's all the apps that we install that are the cruft in and of themselves so maybe you do move system files and data like i don't know or maybe just data maybe that's the key just move data and then download the apps mm -hmm. yeah i'd be curious i know we have a lot of consultants who listen to this show who uh who help lots of people and i'm i'm curious what your kind of default is when when someone's moving to a new machine and they've had the old machine for a while, you know, there, there's, I, I, to me, there's, there's essentially three steps. I'm sure there's a lot more than three, but there's the, the three steps would be full migration assistant. Just let it do whatever it wants. The other end of the extreme would be a hundred percent manual migration. And then there's the middle, which is kind of what we're talking about here. I, I'm curious what your decision trees look like t as far as when you choose which one of those three or, or some other option. So uh, yeah, let us know feedback at MacGeekCab.com. We'd love to hear from you.